Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hopefully you guys are having an amazing day today. I have the curator box to share with you guys. This is actually the spring curator box. I popped it open. I found it actually laying in my room and I was like, wait, did I already get my summer box? That's awesome. Because I already saw like the sneak peeks for some of the items in the summer box and I was like, cool, that already arrived. Then I realized, no, no, no. You never opened your spring box. So this is my spring box. So I did take a peek inside of here. I'm not gonna lie. I opened it up because I was like, what is this box? I opened it up and realized, um, this is the spring box. So we're gonna go ahead and open this together or not open it together. I'm gonna share it with you guys and let you guys know if I feel like this was actually worth the money. Because if you don't know, this box is actually $100 each time they send it to you. So it's a little bit more expensive, actually a lot more expensive. It's quite a bit expensive versus most of the other subscription boxes that we have seen around. So this used to be called the Rachel Zoe Box of Style and then they changed the name to the Curator Box. I don't really know. I don't really care why they changed the name as long as they continue to send great items. That's all that matters to me. But I can tell you when I peeked inside, I was like, what? That's it. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> okay, so let me go ahead and share it with you guys. I'm just gonna pop it open and I'll show you what it looks like. I'm trying like not to like put it all up in the camera here. So here's the box itself looks like when you open it, it does say curator, welcome to a life well curated. So let's see what we have here. I'll share it with you guys and tell you guys about pricing. Pricing? That sounded very Southern. I'm gonna tell you guys about the pricing as well. So we have the Curator Happy Anniversary. Oh, wait, I didn't see this in there. We wouldn't be us without you. Being a part of our curator community means being an integral part of what, me, what our team stands for. Thank you for being a loyal member indulged with $50 in rewards. Oh, fancy. I'm gonna go buy something. I don't know what I'll buy on the shop, but I'll buy something. Then we have something from Green Chef. I have Green Chef. I have not heard of this subscription service before, like a food service. I've done HelloFresh and I've done HelloFresh and what is the other one I do? HelloFresh is the one that I love. Um, and the other one's actually really good as well. I have them both on my phone. Home Chef. That's it. HelloFresh and Home Chef. Okay, so that's the ones I've done. So let me show you guys everything inside of here. Let's see if you're excited. So the first thing in here is from Vita Feed, Vita Fed. You guys will have to tell me how bad I butchered that name because I'm pretty sure I did just butcher it. So let's see what it says. While well, I open the book up here, the book, the book, the book. It does come with like, it's not really like a layout, like a layout, like a pamphlet. It's actually like a magazine. So it does have some things in here you can actually read, which are really cool. So let's see. Oh, so we have two things possibly in here from Vita Fed. I'm pretty sure I'm messing that up. So here is, oh yeah. These are the Vita Fed Casio rings. So it comes with three little rings here and it looks like they're connected, but they're actually not. So I did take a peek at these. So these are not connected. So what you do is just push them through. Okay, wait, I did, okay, like that and they pop out. So you get two just plain gold rings and then let me stack them together and I can show them all to you. Let's see. All right. So the top one is like the more, as you can tell, it has like little stones around it. And the other two are just plain gold rings. They're tiny. I have big hands though. I, and I've always said that I feel like the Seinfeld episode, if you guys ever watched Seinfeld, when he goes on the date with the girl with the big hands and she's like wiping his hands, his face off. I have big hands for a girl, so these are not perfect for my fingers. So, I mean, they'll fit my ring finger, but I'm not gonna put them on my ring finger. I would prefer them on like my pointer finger, I'm gonna be honest, but they're not gonna fit there. So these say that they are, <laughs> you wanna guess the price? We should do like a price is right. That would be funny if we could figure out a way to do that. So these say Cathy or Pav rings, Pave rings, $250. I don't think so. I don't think so. It says, I don't know what, oh, let's find out something about these. Pair with a monochromatic ensemble for a statement making moment or dress it down with, wait, what? <laughs> I'm talking about a hat here. Uh, where do we want to talk about rings? These modular, what? It says basically you can just wear these because they're just like very simplistic. Yeah, I agree. They're <laughs> 
they're very simplistic and I do not think that they're worth $250. They don't even sound like good quality. I'm not going to be lying here. They sound not that great. There's, our, there's a card in here too. How to care for your jewelry. It says, um, each Vita fed product is handcrafted with exceptional detail to ensure quality and life of your pieces. Please follow the care instructions listed in the care cards. Um, avoid overexposure of heat. Um, avoid prolonged contact with all liquids, including cosmetics. Extra care should be taken with stone and pearl pieces as they are natural and very delicate. Use caution when layering pieces as this may cause scratches. When not in use, put them in your bag. Okay, look, seriously, these are like so, they need so much TLC that I'm not gonna ever wear them anyway because they don't fit my fat fingers. But also, I just don't feel like $250. There's no way I would ever pay $250 for those. They're just, in my opinion, not worth that. You can go to TJ Maxx, you can go to Target, you can go to wherever and get yourself some costume jewelry that's gonna look very similar in my opinion. So let's go and do the next one from the same brand. This is another Vita Fed. Um, these are actually cute. I, I will say these are cute, but they're so the value. There's no way. I mean, they're like completely jacking these prices up. Cause like, first of all, they're coming in like, it feels like tape packaging. <laughs> like you're going to give me something that supposedly, okay, let me tell you how much these are worth. So I'll show you up close how they have these wrapped. It's like a piece, two pieces of tape put together. Basically that's what it looks like. Um, these are supposed to be $388. I'll let you digest that while I open this. Because if you're thinking what I'm thinking, I'm thinking, no way. There's no way I would ever pay $388 for these. They are, they found some good stuff is all I can tell you. Oh my gosh. I can't even get them out. Like they're sealed. They're like, blah. It's like when you have some meat, you buy a lot of meat at Costco and you need to take it home and like seal it up in your, your vacuum sealer. That's what they did to these. They kind of vacuum sealed the earrings and it's sticky. Awesome. Okay. So here is what the earring looks like. They are very pretty, but I have seen earrings that very similar to this at Target. So I definitely do not see $388 for these earrings. You guys let me know. What do you think? Is this a brand that I'm just not familiar with? And you're like, oh my gosh, girl. Yeah, these are, these are really amazing. Or do you think these are very just costume jewelry? Like in my opinion, they're very costume jewelry. Like so and $388, I, I no, <laughs> no. The next thing is from Illamasqua. So this is the Illamasqua Beyond Powder Highlighter. So I'm actually excited about this, but it's makeup. So of course I'm gonna be excited about makeup. So here's what the packaging looks like. The packaging looks very nice. It doesn't feel very nice. It feels kind of cheapy. So, um, oh my gosh, I can't open it. I need muscles. <sighs> Blow, up my, <laughs> Blow up my muscles here. Oh, oh my gosh, how do you open this thing? Oh. It was child proofed. Oh my gosh, that's really pretty. So there's what it looks like when you open it. It has a mirror included. This is called Daze. So there's what it looks like in the pan. I will give you a swatch for it as well. Of it, not for it. Let's see, where's the price for this? $45, more reasonable. So let's do swatch. There's what it looks, oh my gosh, that's actually really pretty. Do you see it? Oh, that's pretty. It's like a pinky opal-like color. It's very, very pretty. Even if it's not good for a highlight for you, I think it would be a beautiful, like, um, corner, inner corner a highlight. I think, oh my, I almost dropped it. It would be beautiful. It would be beautiful for that. So I am excited about that. So see what it says. Use a highlighter brush to swipe over the high points of your face, like cheeks and brow bones for a lit from within glow. Dust across your collarbone, shoulders to create a subtle illumination. Dampen an eyeliner brush to create to craft a modern metallic line across your lids. Ooh, that's a good idea. All right, so that is the makeup item. The next thing is from, where's the name? What does this say? Hue and Grace. I think that's who it is. Hue and Grace Renewing a Night Serum. It says rosehip oil, cherry kennel oil, grapeseed oil, raspberry seed oil, prickly pear seed oil, 
meadow foam seed oil, passion fruit oil, pumpkin seed oil, vitamin E, blue tansy oil. Now blue tansy oil I do really like, so I'm excited to see that in there. Custom essential oil blend. Um, it says, apply three to 10 drops to a cleanse face and neck every evening. Uh, rich in vitamins and antioxidants, our night serum delivers immediate moisture and clarity while detoxifying and regenerating your complexion overnight. So I was looking through here and there's no, oh wait, there it is. Okay, like if it was a snake, it would have bit me. <laughs> so here's the information on this, I guess. Um, it doesn't tell you the price on this, which is weird. It doesn't have that part broke down. It says why your skin will love it. It doesn't tell your price though. It says craft it from a supercharged custom blend of plant-based, vegan, and cruelty-free ingredients like rosehip, meadow foam, and blue tainted oils. The renewing night serum moisturizes and fortifies your skin while you sleep. The result is a strengthened skin barrier, stimulated collagen production, and even skin tone. But it doesn't tell you a price for this. So I don't know how much this is. So unfortunately, I have no idea, but it does have a little layout here of Hugh and Grace. I'm assuming that's who they are. And they're, they're little kids. They're super cute. So here is a serum. Let's see what the serum actually looks like. It looks like it's just going to be in a brown jar or a brown glass. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's, is that brown? It looks greenish. So here's what the bottle looks like. I'm actually really excited to try this. I'm going to smell it. It smells good. It doesn't have like a very strong, sometimes when you have all those like different types of oils in there, it can kind of smell like overwhelming. This does not, it smells really nice, very gentle smelling. So I'm excited about that. And then the last thing in here is this. We have a Jules K bag. I think it's like a I don't know like bag types. I'm thinking this is called a hobo bag, but I uh, could be wrong. Uh, let's see. Oh, it's like a, it's like a shoe bag. <laughs> no, I don't know what it's called. Let's see here. It should have a strap. Yeah, it's got a strap in here. So you've got like this strap to go with the bag. And let's find out some information on this bag here. This is the Jules K Zola bag. This is $95 for this bag. It feels very, very soft. I'm not gonna lie, this feels very, very soft. I know it's vegan leather. Pretty sure it's vegan leather. It says, what? Highlight the sculpture crescent silhouette by wearing this over the shoulder with a tailored blazer, wide leg pants for an office, what? For a what? For an off duty spin. The crossbody style pairs effortlessly with a slip dress and sneakers. So hailing from New York, Jules K bags are designed for the trend forward woman with a busy lifestyle anchored by strength and femininity. Each style prioritizes versatility, longevity, and, and since they're crafted from premier cruelty free PETA approved vegan leathers, you can feel good as you look. So here's the bag. Like I said, it feels really nice. I'm going to put the straps on so you can kind of tell what it looks like with the straps on. Okay, let's see. Oh my gosh. Well, I do like the hardware. The hardware, hardware feels really nice on it. The zipper opened up very easily. Sometimes if you can get a bag that's not very well made, you can tell by the zipper for sure. So here's what the bag looks like with the strap on. It's actually really cute. It's actually a really cute bag, so. That'll be great for like traveling when we can travel. So I, f I love the way it feels. It's super duper soft. So that is everything in my box. So $100. What do you guys think? So we have the Illamasco. We have the skincare. We have the way overpriced jewelry. And then we have the shoulder bag. So technically we have one, two, three, four, five items. So if you look at it like that, it's $20 per item. That's how I typically look at it when I'm like, okay, did I, did I actually just waste a hundred bucks? If you look at it like that, then you can kind of better determine, is it worth it? So $20 for each thing. Definitely I would pay $20 for the bag. I would pay $20 for the highlighter. I would pay $20 for the skincare. Would I pay $20 each for these? No. So I feel like this box was not worth it in my opinion. I feel like this box was kind of like a uh, crap. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. It was just very crappy in my opinion. So I'd love to know what you think of the curator spring box. If you think it was crap or do you think it was good? I'd love to know what you think. Uh, 
kind of looking forward to see what they put in the summer box now because I'm like, please do not start going downhill because they already charged me and they kind of charged me without kind of telling me. They charged me for the year and I was like, dude, what if I didn't want to keep you for another year? But they already did it. But anyway, so I do pay by the year. That's one way you can receive a discount. They do have discounts for this box. So if you purchase it by the year, you do get a better deal for it. So you don't technically pay $100 for the box. But still, I don't know. I'm just not feeling very good about this one. I'm kind of glad that it was just sitting in the corner, like collecting dust for a while because it was just not good. <laughs> anyway, let me know your thoughts, your opinions below. Thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, I'll catch you guys later.